G'day viewers, uh, today I am going to share this little job with you where I'm doing a bit of problem solving. Um, this particular installation has got two strings of solar panels facing three different orientations on a dual MPPT inverter. Now, normally all the panels in one string should be facing the same orientation. However, you can have them facing two different orientations if you parallel them and you stay within the specs of the inverter. So these five here are paralleled with the five on the northern side of the house that you can see up there. And then there's another six panels on the back of the house. So the two that I just showed you are paralleled. However, the current of those two strings paralleled is exceeding the inverter's capacity by a fair bit. So what the inverter is doing is it's clipping the power, which means it's shutting down that one MPPT, but it's also having to work pretty hard to do it because the current is far exceeding the capacity of the inverter. So then what's happening is the inverter is actually overheating and it's derating itself to stop it from getting really hot which is really clever of the inverter instead of it just blowing up. Um, but what that does mean is that this 6.5 kilowatt system is drastically underperforming um, to the point it's only making about 1.3 kilowatts, um, which is terrible. So to remedy that problem, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put those five panels and the other five panels in a single string. So I'm going to unparallel them and put them in a single string. Now, having panels facing different orientations in the same string means the ones that are shaded will actually become a resistive load because they're not producing any power. They're actually going to drag down the power. Just like when you put flat batteries in like a kid's toy, um, the flat batteries so you've got eight batteries in the kids toy they're actually all in series and the flat batteries will drag the voltage down of that whole system it's exactly the same with the solar panels the ones that are shaded or on a different orientation will drag down the performance of all the others now the way to get around that is either module level optimization such as solar edge or Enphase, um, or you can fit these here, Tygo optimizers. So these are great for this sort of application um, where you're either going to retrofit them or you're going to uh, install them from scratch. So in this case it is a retrofit because we come back to this because um, the design of the solar system is not adequate. It's outside of the parameters of the inverter. So with these Tygo optimizers uh, they will enable the power to be bypassed on the panels that are shaded or aren't facing um, the optimum level with the sun. So say some are facing east, as in this case, and some are facing north. Uh, when the sun is in the northern uh, side of the sky and the eastern ones aren't getting much sunlight, the eastern ones will be dragging, down, dragging the power production down because they're all in series but what these do is enable the power to bypass the ones that are shaded um, which would otherwise be um, a resistive load now the other thing is as well that um, if you did do a single string on different orientations and uh, some of the panels are creating um, a resistive uh, point in that string so they're stopping the power it can also damage the panels and void your warranty um, so yeah it's pretty important these are a fantastic product I always keep a couple in my van um, just in case I'll get to an installation where it's shaded by a chimney or a big tree you might have one or two panels which are otherwise in the Sun for most of the day but um, at certain parts of the day they might be shaded and dragging the performance of the whole system down so awesome product from Tygo um, these can be cloud connected too so you can connect them to a cloud and that way you can monitor 
uh, each and every um, optimizer or panel, um, very much like Solar Edge. I'm not familiar with Enphase, I don't know if you can do that with Enphase, like, like monitor each and every micro inverter, um, but I know you can with Solar Edge. So that's what we're doing today, and um, hopefully, we'll have this system back up and running at, uh, at full power soon. Cheers for watching.